Claret TV speaking to Chelsea City manager Robbie Simpson after the late win here at Dartford. Robbie, uh, left it late, but a great three points. Yeah, and deserved three points, I think. Um, I, I thought we were really good today from, from start to finish. I thought we were really good in the first half. Um, my only gripe in that first half would be that we didn't score. We, sh we had three guilt edge chances that we need to score. We need to have a bit more. Um, we needed to have a bit more patience and um, care, I think, and, and conviction. We, we kind of rushed when we got in those good opportunities. We rushed our shots, um, and that meant that we were maybe off balance and sliced, and we didn't hit, we didn't hit the target when we should have in that first half. And that was my only gripe. And I said to the players that my only my only criticism that first half was the scoreline because I thought we played exceptionally well against a really strong wind. Um, we played really good football and got in down the sides of their centre halves with, with Freddie's running and, and Michael's running and, and, and Jonesy being that target man in that first half against the wind a bit deeper where the balls were dropping. I thought he was outstanding. Um, and they score, they have one chance with a header at the back post and then the goal. And other than that, I don't think. They had any any real chances in that first half, so to go in one nil down was really really disappointing. But we just had to keep believing. We had to um, utilise the conditions. The second half was completely different with the wind, so we had to we had to play in their half and be a bit braver and with our line and and our pressing and. Um, when we got the ball, we had to switch it from side to side and try and work opportunities. And hopefully, then when we got the opportunities, we, we learnt from the first half and um, took care. And I, I don't think I don't think we did do that in that final third. Really, I, th I think we did take a bit more care. But then when when we did, the keepers pulled off a couple of really good saves, really smart saves. And we needed something special, I think, to to break the. Um, to break the deadlock and and it, a wonderful goal from Odie it, it's, and, I, and I like it because as the ball was coming to him it felt like his first touch told me he had nothing else in his mind than to shoot at goal with conviction sometimes when they have their first touch underneath him and then decide what to do it, whatever they decide at that point then doesn't doesn't work but it it felt as though his first touch told everybody he's shooting uh, and that meant he had conviction with the shot and in off the post hell of a strike keeper had no chance although he almost got there and and from then on there was only one one winner really i, I, I felt like the lads grew then and another foot um and really good second ball win from trots for the for the winner and and Gio gave us what we didn't have in that first half, just making sure he got a really good connection right in the corner and again gave the keeper no chance. So I, I felt like we thoroughly deserved that, that three points. And were you pleased with sort of the amount of control we had? Because Dartford sort of first half and second half played mainly on the sort of counter attack. Yeah, um, I'm really pleased. I, I'm not surprised. I, I feel like we are in a good place as a team I think we're, we're confident I think um, the new players have now bedded in and people know that the way they play and their strengths and also their weaknesses and um, I just think we're playing as a real team with control and dominance um, at this present time and I hope that that continues obviously because we've shown now today against the team that are really good with a really <laughs> well a very good experienced manager and we've came here wanting to dominate and we have yeah and even with sort of uh, Eddie Beach on international duty Jazzy on international duty and Dave the captain suspended we've sort of we've got a strong squad and hardly any injuries just Louis Dunn Harry Lodovica coming back today uh, in the warm-up so this is sort of especially with the deadline passing this week it's, it's looking a strong squad yeah and Cameron James half fit on the bench you know he, he said he wanted to be there for us today if we needed him even though he's not fully fit so again we, we had decisions to make we, we maybe could have added one more before the deadline but we, we didn't want to be adding for adding's sake. You know, we're really happy with with our squad. Um, as you see there, a couple of players dropped out from from a very good victory at, at the weekend, and, and two dropped in. And um, I actually said to Gio that I felt like him and him and Tom on Saturday, last Saturday, did a lot of the grunt work, and then Jonesy and Freddie came on and got the glory. Um, and it was. 
it was Jonesy and Freddie's turn this time to do all the grunt work and, and Tom and Gio to come on and get the glory. And um, so I'm really pleased that that actually happened. Um, but I, f I feel like, yeah, as a, as a squad, we're, we're in a really good place and we need that to continue towards the end of the season, obviously, because we want to be in the playoffs and, and then carry that form forward into the playoffs. And uh, it was sort of a tough decision to bring on, take Folivio off and bring McGregor on, especially with Michael being in such good form. But Gio McGregor turns up with a winning goal. Yeah, Michael's been in great form, but it, it was probably one of those days for him. He, as well as he played, it, it just wasn't going to happen for him in that final little bit. And obviously we leave him on hoping that that happens. But I felt like bringing Gio on and mo then moving Jonesy up would just help us. Jonesy would give us more of a a focal point higher up the pitch because we had the wind which meant the ball was a lot higher and not dropping deeper but also then Gio would find pockets he's a different type of player in that position to Jonesy and Gio would find pockets and we could link play through him um, and yeah just fortunate that it worked for us. And we got uh, the Tolshan Cup semi-final on Tuesday as our next game to sort of utilise the squad and want pick one of those hybrid teams that we've sort of played in those sort of competitions this year. Yeah it'll be, a, it'll be exactly that. Um, then obviously uh, players that started today I think we only had six from today anyway but players that started today w w won't feature I wouldn't have thought um, players that are on the bench probably will feature plus some of our academy and reserve players and haven't decided possibly myself um, so we'll see we'll see how I feel <laughs> come Tuesday I think but yeah we're looking forward to that we've really enjoyed I don't know we've only had one game in it but we've really enjoyed that and the Essex Senior Cup bar are going out obviously and um, yeah to, to play those hybrid teams has been uh, has been really nice to have and a nice break from um, from what is a really intense season so far well done today Robbie looking forward to Tuesday maybe an appearance from yourself as well and uh, move on to that one cheers Ben thank you <laughs>